Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to recover data from a flash drive with broken USB connector. This happens very often, especially with cheap plastic USB thumb drives. At the same time, I've never seen such issues with full metal USB drives. Nowadays they are so cheap, so there's no point in trying to fix it unless it contains some valuable data. Of course, the best solution that allows you to fix the broken port is just to solder this USB connector back in place. The problem is, most people don't have any soldering skills or soldering iron at all. So let's see what we can do here with and without soldering. First try to align the broken pins. Then firmly press the board to the connector and insert your drive into the USB port. If you can't keep connection with one hand, you may want to ask someone to help you transfer your files. Open the drive, select what you need and copy the files. Never cut files in such situation because if you lose connection while moving the file, you could permanently lose that file. So if this method doesn't work for you, try the next one. You'll need an old USB cable you are willing to sacrifice. All we need is this USB plug and about 4 inches of this cable. Carefully strip the outer insulation and then strip a short bit of the insulation of each individual wire. Ok, so now if you look at the USB connector from this side, the first pin is ground, which is black wire inside the USB cable, the second pin is data positive, green wire, the third pin is data negative, white wire, and the fourth one is VBUS 5V red wire. Next, carefully connect these wires to the solder pads on the PCB and plug this into the USB port. And as you can see, it works. I should point out that you have to be very careful with this method, because you can easily short-socket the board, so I highly recommend soldering instead. If some of these pads have been completely ripped off the board, try to gently scrape away the green paint on the traces that led to those pads, and then solder the wires. If the ground pad is missing, you can always use one of these pads that hold USB connector. You may experience issues with these teeny tiny data traces. If they are damaged or too small for your soldering skills, try to solder data wires directly to the microcontroller. You can find those pins using continuity mode on your multimeter. In my case, it's pretty obvious that they go to these pins. So let's put some flux on the pins and solder data wires to the chip. Ok, that's good enough, considering it's done without using a microscope. So let's plug this in and see if it works. There's no smoke, no sparks and I have full control over the drive. If your computer doesn't recognize the flash drive, double check your soldering and make sure that the data line is not reversed or shorted. 